Good morning. Today's lesson is 11.4. So today we're going to be talking about surface area of pyramids. Our essential question, how can you find the surface area of a pyramid? Most people think of Egypt when they think of pyramids, but there are ancient pyramids throughout the world. The Pyramid of the Sun in Mexico was built around 100 CE and is one of the largest pyramids in the world. Let's unlock the problem. Kara is making a model of the Pyramid of the Sun for a history project. The base is a square with the side length of 12. Each triangular face has a height of 7. What is the surface area of Kara's model? So if we're looking over here, we're going to label this in. She said that the height, so that's my height, is 7. So I'm going to put 7. And she said that my side length was 12. So I'm going to put 12. Make sure I put my correct inches, inches. All right, so step one was to label the, um, label the dimensions, which we did. Then it says, step two says, find the area of the base and each triangular face. So my base, it's a square, and if I know one side's 12, then I know they're all 12, right? So my area is gonna be 12 times 12, or S squared. So I'm gonna substitute 12 for the S in my equation, area equals S squared. So area equals 12 squared, and 12 times 12 is 144 inches squared. Now my triangular faces, I'm gonna, my formula, remember we just did this yesterday, area equals half base times height. So I'm going to substitute 12 for the base, because my base is 12, and I'm gonna substitute seven for the height. So I'm going to put 12 and 7. So I have 12 times 7, which is 12 times 7. 2 times 7 is 14. 7 times 1 is 7, plus the 1 is 8. So I get 84 here times 1 half. Remember when you're doing that? You put the 1 here, you get 84 over 2. So it's really saying 84 divided by 2, which is 42 inches squared. So we know that each of these is 40. I'm actually going to do that in a different color. We know that these are 42 inches, 42 inches, 42 inches. And we said that our square in the center was 144 inches. So we simply just have to add them together. So we have 144, which was my square, plus four, because there's one, two, three, four triangles, right? Four times 42. And you're going to get, well, first, you're going to, when you do your order of operations, four times 42 is 168. So I've got 144 now plus 168. And when I add that together, I'm going to get 312, 312 inches squared. You could add 42 plus 42 plus 42 plus 42 plus 144. Or you could take 42, multiply it times 4, and then add the 144. Sometimes you need to find the total area of the lateral faces of a solid figure, but you don't need to include the area of the base. So the lateral area, or L, of a solid figure is the sum of the areas of the lateral faces. These are the lateral faces, right? Not the base. So example, Quan is making a tent in the shape of a triangular pyramid. The three sides of the tent are made up of fabric, and the bottom will be left open. So they're trying to find out how much fabric you need. Well, if you're going to leave the bottom open, then you don't need to count that in your surface area. You only need to do the three sides. The faces have a height of 10 feet and a base of 6 feet. What is the area of fabric Quan needs to make the tent? So we're going to find the lateral area of the triangular pyramid. So first we're going to draw and label a net for the pyramid. So when we do that, it's going to look like this. All right, not exactly the best, but this was my base. And then these were my sides. My lateral faces are my sides. Okay? And then I'm going to label that. So we know that the height on these right there is 10 feet and that we know that the bottom or the against the base is six feet okay so i'm going to substitute the six for the b which is this baseline and height 
I'm going to substitute the 10. So again, my formula is still area equals half base times height because a triangle is half of a rectangle and a rectangle is base times height. So when I substitute my base and my height, so I substitute my 6, I substitute my 10, I multiply 10 times 6, which is 60. So now I have area equals 1 half times 60. When I do that, I simply multiply across, I get 60 over 2. When I um, turn that into a regular fraction, it's basically cutting in half. 60 divided by 2 is 30, so my area is going to be 30 feet squared, and that is just for one of these. And there are, whoops, there are three of them. There's 1, 2, 3. So if I take 3 times 30, then I'm going to get 90 feet squared, and that is the lateral and it's important to know that difference because they did not include the base in the bottom of this because this is a specific situation when they're using this they don't want the base they only want those lateral faces because they're trying to find fabric for a tent right so they're gonna need 90 feet squared of that fabric to make this tent Okay, this is really important it asks explain the difference between finding the surface area and the lateral area of a three-dimensional figure First, you're going to find the area of the base, and then you're going to add it to the lateral area. So the base, they said it was 5 foot. We know the height is 6. So 6 times 5 is 30. And remember, we were multiplying that times a half. Keep getting my area. Put my 1 there, so that's 30 over 2, because remember, we're dividing it in halves. So we have area equals 30 divided by 2. So the area of the base is 15. So I take the area of the base, which is 15, and I'm going to add it back up here to the 90 that we had in the lateral area. And 90 plus 15 equals 100. Oh, and these should be squared. Um, and we need to make sure we're putting our labels. Sorry about that, guys. Um, is going to be 105 feet squared. Okay, again, there are not very many problems, so I do not want to do all of these for you because I need you to do these on your own. Um, I'm going to have you just do one through seven today. I'm not going to have you do the back page. Um, but I do want to remind you and focus you on surface area means I'm finding all the sides. That means I'm going to find the base and I'm going to find the triangle. And in, in a pyramid, 
You know, I've got to make sure I get all of the trying all of the sides, right? So I can tell there's one, two, three, four triangles. So when I open this up, there's going to be a triangle on each side. And my triangles are all going to have the same surface area. And my base will be different. So I have to add four times whatever I get from my triangles. And then I add that to the what I get from my um, surface area of my square. Okay? These word problems, they're just draw them out like they say them. Wherever it says a base, you're going to put that number, okay? Um, trying to think of anything else. Do they ask you lateral area? Just be careful. If they do say lateral area, remember that you're not doing the base for the lateral area. Surface area means you're doing all the sides, and lateral area means that you're just doing the four si or the triangular sides. All right, good luck, and I'm on the carpet if you need me.